All right, y'all. Good morning from Echo Bay. This is going to be. I think I can get through there, but I'm in this thing. This light, very light. That's why this thing exists in my arsenal? FX13 Propel 13 native. So we're gonna go right down this side, right here, and we're right out there to the water. And I got some, some of these, and some of these. What could I be chasing today with those two little tiny lures? I also got some of these little faithful, reliable. I got some bigger striper stuff. But I'm not really after striper today. I'm here looking for something, something else. I'm not even going to say what it is yet. Well, let's see if they're here yet. They should be because I was catching them here about a year ago. So I even got my bilge pump today because when the when the nose of this thing comes up out of the water, water kind of squirts in around there and it goes right to the back. So I got my sponge right there. Got my bilge pump. Got my flashlights. Got my really annoying headlight. All lit up. Got my net. Got my drive. My battery. Blah blah. Fish finder. Life vest. Let's go. Let's hit it. Let's go find some fish. Got a December skunk to kill. It's supposed to be really calm today. So here we go. All right. That was a pretty easy launch, actually. Uh, not bad in this thing. Of course, this thing. I mean, the way it sets, it might might be right at 100 pounds, maybe a couple pounds more, but pretty close to 100 pounds. And those landing gear make it just amazing. I just come right down the ramp, you know, in between the Jersey barriers and in the water I go. I'm seeing fish on the fish finder. I'm gonna head up into uh, what's left of Last Chance Cove here, do a little loop just to see what's there, and. Uh, Try and catch some fish. I got my uh, my little Walmart special lure out over here. We're gonna see what's gonna happen today. Every time I see stuff like that, it just amazes me. Uh, a year and a half ago, maybe? This was a little, that section right there was a little tiny island sticking up out of the water. It's now a peninsula. And it's like, I don't know, 15, 20 feet in the air. A long ways in the air. It's freaking disgusting. It's crazy. We need to fix this. Fix this whole water situation here. I'm seeing uh, back to fishing. I'm seeing fish. I don't know what they are. Could be carp. Could be crappie. Oh, did I say crappie? Could be something else. Don't know. Could be striper. Uh, we're we're uh we're looking. We're trying to. We're waiting for the bite to turn on now. Here, we, we're still going. We just got going. But uh, hopefully something's gonna happen right here quickly. Here's the December skunk beater. He drilled the impact slash. Couldn't possibly be what I was after. No. No. It's got to be a striper. It's a nice striper at that. There he is. New Samper Skunk Peter. And Skunk for 2022. <laughs> First one of the day. All right, so it's like almost nine o'clock. I got a few fish. I got that one on the camera. No boils and no crappie. So that's what I came for. But they're not, I mean, if they are here, they're just not, they're not um, hitting what they usually hit. I still got a, a crappie lure over here that they have been known to hit on the troll. But I'm a ways, I'm a ways out, kind of out, not in the middle, but I'm actually closer to Last Chance Cove than I am to the other side, but I just wanted to come out here and see if there was anything going to 
be happening out here and I don't see anything. I don't see any birds diving, I don't see any boils. I saw one boat. I kind of came into the cove I was in, spun around and left, which does not hurt my feelings at all. So, so we're gonna make a big, oh, look. There's fishies way down there. Uh, 49 feet. It could be crappie. It really could be. Kind of stacked up. But uh, anyways, we're going to make a big broad sweeping turn and we're going to head back up in there towards the end of Last Chance Cove. That's where I got those few right uh, where that used to be an island but it's now Peninsula. Got all those right in there pretty much in the same spot. And I lost my uh, bone uh, insect slash. I'm devastated about that. One broke me off. So, and I only had one with me, which is very unlike me. But uh, I got a few more at home. June and I are going to Boxcar Cove tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to that. We're going to take our, uh, I'm going to take the autopilot. He's got a motor on his kayak. Now we're going to come out of Boxcar and we're going to make a right. And we're gonna go until we can't go any further. So we're gonna see how that goes. Like I said, the last time I was, or it was on Veterans Day actually, I said they will be here soon. Well, they are there. Look at all these fish. I should dig. Holy moly. I might stop and jig. Anyways, we're gonna go uh, like uh, it was in January of this year. I was just knocking them dead up in there. That's crazy. And some of them, it was like boil season in the middle of winter. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. So, I don't know, something might be about to happen here because I'm seeing them up, up high. So I don't know, we might be about, about to catch some fish. All right, I'm on. On the other impact flash. I don't know if you can see that fish finder there, but it's pretty much covered with fish. That fish finder right there. Oh, this is that's a bass. That's a bass, I think. No, that's a missed the nice striper. All right, so we're gonna put you in here for a minute. I'm gonna reel this other one up. All right, the, mic, the bite might have just turned on, but they're right there. So I'm gonna turn back around, throw that thing back out there. Run it about two miles an hour. See if we can't do it again. It's actually raining. So, yeah, not much, but it's raining. That's strange, but true. I don't I gotta slow down. That's the hardest thing about this, this little freaking pedal rocket ship I got here is not over speeding the troll because it's just. I mean, I don't know if you can see how fast I'm pedaling, but that's two miles an hour. It's kind of hard to, for me, to tell myself to go that slow. I'm not used to doing that. But anyways, we're, we're still catching fish. All right, these are some big fish up here today, because that is the third time, just now, that I've broke off. I got broken off on what I always use, 10 pound test. Uh, that's just the weirdest thing ever. So, I mean, I didn't have my drag too tight. He was just just went right straight down and just zip, zip, gone. So, we're gonna see if it happens again, but I'm about out of impact slashes. This is the last one right here. And uh, usually the bone, I go from the bone to the blue, and this one's the shad color. So, well, you know, shad should work because that's what they're chasing. 
but I've never actually used it. So I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work. That's the last one I got with me, anyways. So hopefully. But uh, there, I mean, there they are. And they won't take a jig, but they'll take that impact slash. So I'm gonna go out here away, probably in the middle of the channel, spin around, go back towards the last chance. Like the shad colored impact flash does work. We're gonna hope this guy doesn't break me off. Because if he breaks me off, that's gonna be a a personal best for our personal worst for how many freaking lures can I lose in a day? He doesn't feel very big, but he hasn't seen the oh there he is. He hasn't seen the kayak yet. Is that a crappie? No, no, it's just a little, look at that. <laughs> All right, he didn't break me off because he's just about three times the size of the lure. But there he is. All right, we're on again. I think he's still there. Did I lose him? No, no, he's still there. Yeah, it's just dinks now. All the good ones are gone. That sucks. Well, they're not gone. They're just letting, they're letting the little ones eat, I think. All right, I'm done. I'm getting out of the water. It's, uh, what is it, 10 after 10? A bunch of fish. I uh, lost a lot of fish. Lost three very nice fish. I didn't even happy about that, but I lost, more importantly, I lost three impact slashes. My bone one, and two blue ones. I'm down to the one uh, shad one that I have with me. But, uh, you know, they're out there in about 70 feet of water, hanging around uh, 20 to 35 feet they were today. They're right out there, just uh, a couple hundred yards. That side, the other side of that buoy, the first buoy, Echo Bay buoy out there. And uh, I got one in here, right over here, right off the bat this morning. And I looked for crappie all through here and didn't see any. Well, they might have been there, but they weren't biting. But, uh, yeah, not a bad day. I got a, I don't know if it's my line. The line hasn't been under that line. It's a really good line. So, but I'm gonna replace it anyways. Because the chances of me running into three fish and Lake Mead that can snap 10 pound test like it's nothing. That's not awesome. That's the odds are against that. And it happened. I mean, the first one, I saw the first one and it was, it was a good sized fish. I don't think it was no 10 pounder though. But uh, you know, big strippers they got they got a lot of head shake and they're pretty violent. They don't wanna you know, they don't wanna come in into the kayak and get the picture taken. They're weird that way. But I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off and we'll come on back up here and give you guys a better daylight view of what this launch situation is up here. Okay? So hold on, look back on that. Alright, launch conditions for a kayak. Look, I'm already out of the water. It's a little soft, but it's not horrible. Okay, I mean, out there, it gets pretty soft pretty quick. But up in here, I just you know, roll it in. Stuffed one of the wheels on, picked up the other side, stuffed the other wheel on, got it out of the water. So, and, you know, this is what you got to work with. So, just come through here. Go up that side, over there you don't have to jump that thing and then just go out through between the jersey barrier and the dock go to your truck pretty easy way easier than i thought it was going to be so there you go so yeah a few fish quite a few fish lost a few lost some lures not happy about that but we already covered that so impact slash 12s in bone and blue and that guy didn't do bad I think by the time I got down to him, 
all the big boys were letting the little ones eat. So, Impact Slash 12S did all the work today. Lunkerhunt.com. And I was in, like I said earlier, my little pedal powered rocket ship. This thing is fast. That's the most stable thing in the world, but you know, it's fast. It's a different kind of stable. I had my bilge pump with me because, you know, it doesn't have scuppers. Look at that gigantic one that the drive sticks through. No water in the hull today. That's pretty awesome. But that, and that figures it seems like I got a bilge pump. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna go find some line. There's fish swirling right there. Let's go see what those are. I'll find some line. I got some uh I don't know what it is. I got some kind of line in my garage. I don't know. It's like carp. So anyways, yeah. If you like what you saw, match the little dude right there in the kayak. We're almost to a thousand. You get that, get that catch cart given away hopefully this week. Thanks for watching. More to follow tomorrow from a government wash-ish area in June. We're going to go after it. So... See you on the water. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.